Do you love Colorama? Yes! But there's no update for 20 years? Forget Colorama. You now use Colorama. Colorama lets you make a list of colors. Change them to other colors. Brand colors need to be exact. Just pick a color and make it another. Get stylish. Make your llama look like Obama. So handsome, I'd vote for that guy. Are your colors on different cameras wrong because you are so bad at filming? Color llama will keep your secret. Make your llama go so fast by crushing it into a cube lot to use anywhere in your pipeline. Color Llama, for After Effects and Premiere at aescripts.com. All right, hold on, don't go anywhere. Let's run through each of these shots as quickly as possible to prove this plugin is just as easy as it looks. So right now I'm control clicking to create these swatches, command click on Mac. I can adjust the colors here using the hue, saturation, and brightness controls. Or I can grab a swatch and use the color control. And it's that easy. For this shot, I'll create swatches on each of the cans. Clicking on the red one to select it. And the brightness is probably good, so I'll remember this number 89. When I create a sample for the swatch color, I'm just going to set this back to what it was. Repeating the process with the other two swatches. Okay, before and after, getting there. However, this yellow is off, so I'll just make another swatch here. Select this. And now for any colors in the video that I don't want to be changed by Color Llama, I can create a swatch, again by control clicking, and I'm just going to make sure that the target color doesn't change. When you don't change the target color, that just means keep this color exactly as is. I'll create a swatch in the sky, on the building, over here, wherever it seems important. There's your before and after. Your brand colors are matched. For this shot, very similar. I'll control click to create swatches. Command click on Mac. I'll sample the colors in the poster. I want my style to be replace color, not change color, so the video is made only of the colors in my palette. And for the blend, I'll make it posterized, putting on some slight softness here. I can drag the swatches around if I want to try to sample different colors in the video and get slightly different results. That works. And for the hatched areas, I'll create another swatch, somewhere between the brightness of this swatch and that swatch. I'll bring the alpha value down, so that way you can see through it. I'll make a new solid. Put it underneath. Duplicate that solid. Generate a grid. And make that grid yellow. Trying to mimic the hatching you see in the poster. And there it is. Side note, for this shot, if you make it black and white, you can add a gradient here. And pre-compose the shot and the gradient together. Then when you put on Color Llama, you can remap using ranges of black to white. which of course you can sample from the original video.
but you can also place on the gradient. This kind of setup may make it easier to adjust. It's also great for visualizing the different color blending modes. And when I increase the LUT softness when using the posterize mode, it makes it easy to see how the colors are being distributed. And for this shot, I'll do a time lapse, making my swatches smaller. Starting with black and white, creating a swatch for every color on the Macbeth color checker, and making the target color match the Macbeth color checker from the shot I want to match to. This is great for matching shots from different cameras, and it's also great for matching shots from the same camera shot from different angles with slightly different lighting. And there it is, before, after. There's a little flashing from the lens vignetting, you might have to keyframe your colors. We'll get into that in the full length tutorial. But before I do that, one quick bonus. Here's the background. Here's the foreground, which is CG. I'll put color llama on there, and I want to make this shadow match that shadow. I'll create a swatch here, and create a swatch here. On this one, I'm going to bring the alpha down quite a bit and probably make it a little bit darker and just go by eye. As for the llama itself, I don't want the alpha value to be affected. So I'm going to make sure that this target alpha for this swatch is full. And then I'm going to shift click to increase the reach of this swatch all over the llama. I'll explain how this works and why in the full tutorial. There, now it's matched. Before, after. A lot more work went into this shot than just color matching, but it's a good start. Okay, so the whole point of this was just to prove the plugin works as well as advertised, but there's a lot more you may want to know. Check out the full tutorial at aescripts.com slash and download the free trial to try it for yourself.